Okay, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna move forward with our peers. And if you need to watch the last video, we actually set up a family for the peers. We're, we're gonna move forward now. So if I click on my isolated, you'll see I had a pad foundation listed here. Let's go out and load family. Back down to structural foundations. We're gonna use that peer foundation family that we copied from the footing rectangular family in a past video. Now we wanna edit type here as well. For our peer, what we wanna go ahead and build a peer that resembles what we need. So we need a 16 inch by 16 inch by four foot deep peer. So we're gonna name this and go ahead and create what we need here. 16 inch by 16 inch. And this is a four foot deep pier. And let's go on ahead and accept that. Now let's make the changes here as well. So 16 inches by 16 inches and then the thickness is of it's four foot deep. And we're gonna click apply and we're gonna go ahead and accept this. Now we know our pier foundations are just around the exterior. They provide the support underneath of each one of our structural columns as well as a place to mount our base plate so that we can mount our columns down. I'm gonna use at grids again select all of my grid lines and I'm going to hold down control now the one thing I want to change here is we actually want to insert these at the level that they're going to extend to so I've made one mistake let's hit cancel out here And let's go ahead and go up to our first floor level. Now this is the level I want to insert the piers at. So now let's go back to this 3D structural view. And you can see we have our stacked foundation wall as well as our piers and our pad footings. So what else do we need here? The last thing that we need is we actually want to insert our bearing footings underneath of the wall. So if I just still come back up to my architectural my structural tab, come down to structural wall. You'll see I have a wall foundation that's already in the project. Now we know we're going to insert a 24 inch by 12 inch bearing footing. So if I click edit type here, 
we actually need to duplicate this. And by duplicating it, we're going to add a 24 inch by 12 inch. So we'll change the name, click OK, and we're going to change the size. Everything else works fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you'll see on this list, we've added another size for our bearing footing. So back up on the structural tab, if you click this wall foundation, I can select my wall here and I want to make sure the bearing footing is selected that we wanted to use. But I'll just select this wall here and I'll select each one of my perimeter walls. And Revit actually inserts the bearing footing for you. So just that quickly, we're able to lay in the bearing footing that exists underneath of the foundation wall that we created as a stack wall in the past video. I hope this video has been helpful for you in setting up your foundation plans. If you're not already a subscriber to the Smarter Architect YouTube channel, why not? <laughs> Sign up today.